Hi guys, today I'm making a video about the first thing that I do when I buy a new MacBook. These are just some few tips and tricks to make the whole MacBook experience much easier. The first thing that I do is changing the trackpad setting to my liking. So let's start by opening up System Preferences. Here we press Trackpad. As you can see, by default, the tap to click button is unchecked. This means that by default, you have to actually press the haptic touchpad to make a click. You can't just press it lightly. You have to actually make a physical press. So if we click this tap to click, now what happens is that we don't need to actually press it. We just need to tap it lightly like this and it turns off. So that is the first thing that I change. Another thing that I tend to change in regards to the trackpad is the actual tracking speed. By default, it's set in the middle, but for me, I feel it's a bit too slow. So I like to speed it up just a little bit. So you can see it's much faster, which I prefer. Next thing that I change is the dock. If we go into dock, here we have a few options. We can change the size of the dock. I like to have it at 35, 40% like this. And then you can change the magnification. If we take it all the way up, when we hover the mouse over a, a app, it really magnifies it. And if we have it way lower, then it doesn't magnify it as much. I like to have it at about 75 to 80%. You can also change the position of the dock. By default, it's set to the bottom, but you can change it to the left side or the right side. Another thing that I prefer is to hide the dock when not used, so I can utilize the whole screen. If we go down to automatically hide and show the dock and check that box, you see the dock goes away. If we scroll down with the mouse, the dock comes up. By having it this way, it doesn't take up as much of the screen. So when you don't use it, it's out of sight. And when you need it, you just scroll down. Now this is an extra tip for owners of the MacBook Pro with touch bar. And that is the ability to change what's shown in the touch bar. If we go down to extensions and click it, and then go down on the left side to where it says touch bar, on the right side, we have customized control strip. We have mission control, spotlight, play and pause, change the volume, sound off, Siri, etc. By default, I have four options down here. The first one is to change the brightness. The second one is to change the volume. The third one is to mute. And the fourth one is to lock the screen. And if you want to add anything else like night shift, you just press it and then pull it down and it automatically goes down to the touch bar like this. And if we press the arrow on the left side, we get more options to put down there. And here, as you can see, I have the mission control, I have the launch pad, I have the brightness of the keyboard and etc. Another thing that you should always do when you get a new MacBook is to be able to see the percentage of the battery. By default, it does not show. So what you need to do is just hover the mouse above the battery and then click it and then go down to show percentage. So now you can see it shows the actual percentage, which is 83 in my case. This next tip has been very useful in the day-to-day -day use. And that is being able to resize windows and have multiple windows up side by side and to do that you need a free app that is called spectacle if we open up the browser and type spectacle you see the first site spectacleapp.com and the site opens and then you click download spectacle and it should start downloading when you've downloaded and installed the Spectacle app, this window will show up, which have a lot of short commands for different type of, of action. You have center, 
full screen, left half, right half, and etc. So if we go to full screen, we can enter the shortcut. So in my case, I want to have option F for full screen. And left half, I want to have option S. And for right half, I want to have option D. So let's try it. I've opened up two Safari windows. And if we press option F, it fills the whole screen. If we press option S, and if we go over to the other window and press option D, it covers the other side. So you can enter different shortcuts for different actions. So this app is very useful. So this quick video was some of the things that I did when I received my MacBook Pro. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave a like and subscribe.